Okay, so this video is going to be the product review of this extra virgin olive oil that's from California. I received this product free for test and review. And since I'm a bit pressed for time, no gourmet meal tonight, but instead I'm going to make a, uh, a tater tot casserole. So the kids love it. It's easy to make. Um, what I've already done over here is I've ground some uh, hamburger meat with some onion, a little garlic powder, some uh, purple onions, and uh, a little bit of parsley and some basil flakes in there. So what I'm going to do with the olive oil here is I need to grease the pan slightly. So I figure why not let's use this. Put us a little bit in here. Take my towel and just I'm gonna coat it. So this will just kind of help it not to stick. So it's nice. Smells really good. And we'll come back with the finished product. All right. Okay, so I changed my mind on coming back with the finished product and thought you might want to see what I'm doing. So like I said, we ground the meat here with garlic, garlic powder, some red onions, a little parsley, basil. Cooked it all down real good until the meat's completely done. And uh, you can use cream of mushroom, uh, cream of chicken, I guess, if that's, you know, all you have. And, uh, but what I happened to have was some cream of celery, so it'll all work the same. I'm going to put about three quarters of the can in there. I'm going to mix it up real good here. Want to be good. I've used two pounds of hamburger meat. Mix this. Pause. All right. Okay, so the cream of celery is mixed in there. So now I'm going to add a, uh, a thing of the cheddar cheese condensed soup. And we'll mix this in there real good. Whole pan. Cheesier the better. Okay, so the cheddar cheese is mixed in now, and we're going to put this on our slightly greased with extra virgin olive oil pan here, casserole dish. I think this is like a 9 by 13. It's like 2 inches deep. Like I said again, I've used 2 pounds of hamburger meat, a can of cream of celery, because that's what I had. Cream of anything will work. And then the cream of cheddar or the cheddar cheese condensed milk or condensed uh, soup there so we'll mash it all down just like that super easy and then we're going to start putting some just frozen tater tots it'll be so easy pause okay so i got the oven preheated to 400 honestly i don't remember how long i cook it for i kind of just watch it till it's done so I'll probably set the timer for like 15 minutes and come back. The tater tots are frozen. So really what I'm going to look for is the tater tots to be done because the meat's already cooked. It's going to cook down the soups, make it real good and thick and uh, super yummy. So I just really need the tater tots to cook. So like I said, I'll come back and check it after 10 minutes. So we'll get this in the oven. And we'll set the timer. Okay, well, my battery can't take much more of waiting for it to cook. So it's probably going to be about 20 minutes because that's after 10 and they're not quite golden brown. So I'll post pics 